stop mowing your lawn like it's 2010. You can either push a mower for an hour or push a button for a second. It's your choice. Hey friends, welcome to another unboxing and review. Today I'm checking out the Limo One um, robotic lawnmower, no perimeter stuff required. Has these straps on there, pull those off. Okay. A little, um, some wiring here, lots of wiring. Step one, fix a radio antenna to the RTK reference station. Connect the cable. So this goes on the top. Let's lift this off now. Done, done, oh my goodness. Check that out. This thing looks absolutely cool. Look at this, it's like a little mini tractor, guys. Are you kidding me right now? That looks so cool. We got our little, look at this little guy, man. Almost looks like a little Wally. Wally. But it's Limo. Like a little face right there. This thing looks legit. Okay, check this out. Oh my goodness, it's got these monster treads on here with like, that is burly. And this is the mower portion. Okay, really cool. We got our runs right up onto that. I set up my radio communications pole right there in the corner and then the um, docking station I just put right there, plugged it in, charged it up and the grass is ready to be mowed. All right, using the uh, Limo app, you basically just use this like a little uh, remote control on your phone and you can just steer it uh, frontwards and back with the left side and right and left with the right trigger there. Um, you mow your perimeter and then it basically just memorizes. So you wanna get as close to the edge as you can. It takes a little bit of learning. Um, just kind of steer it around. You can adjust the speeds as you're creating the map. So you create your map, just go around your perimeter as close as you can. So I, I recommend like the slower speed so you can get a little close because this thing does go pretty fast if you want it to. So I just drove it around the perimeter. Okay friends, once we have started, we drive around the backyard, uh, we name it, we can adjust the uh, cutting height and all that. So, and the moving speed, everything for the backyard. So let's do that. How the angles, we want a stripe angle, path pacing. So all this stuff, cutting height, um, 1.55. Blade speed, let's do max. Moving speed, there we go. Stripe angle. We can switch it however we want. So we can go like this a little bit. Path spacing, we need each mowing path. So the smaller, the more it's gonna do that. We'll save that. Okay guys, let's path it all out. Uh, there's this charging station, charging station. There's our, our radar thing, radar thing. And there's the little mower and there's the mower just like on the thing. Okay, so we're gonna go back. We gotta select our uh, map, I guess. All right, this can be zoomed in and out, obviously. So we just zoom in, we select it. Right, when it turns green, we select, right? And then we hit mow. Starting mowing now. Hit the mow button here. Starting mowing now. There we go. Okay, starting up. All right, let's talk a little bit about the navigation system that the Limo's RTK system uses. So RTK stands for real-time kinematic. It's a positioning technology uh, using the robot lawnmower to achieve centimeter level accuracy for navigation. So we can see it kind of cruises along nicely here once you have the thing set up. It's, uh, and you can check it out on the app. It shows you like exactly where it is within, within centimeters. So here's a breakdown of how the system works um, with satellite signals, GNSS, the LIMO mower, and its base station receives signals from the global navigation satellite system, uh, such as GPS. With the base station corrections, the fixed base station is our little um, 
uh, radio signal pole that we have set up in the corner there. We have that set up in its known location and then it continuously compares the satellite data with its known position to calculate signal errors caused by atmospheric conditions and other factors. So even if our GPS isn't uh, always perfect, it's, it's kind of working together with that base station tower to make sure everything is golden. And then it ra uses uh, radio communication. So the base station transmits these correction data to the mower in real time via a secure radio signal. using LoRa radio communications. So unlike satellite signals, this radio link can pass through objects and does not require a direct line of sight between the base station and the mower. So I can have my um, base station in my backyard and also uh, have, it, have the mower mow in the front yard, so no problems there. As we can see here on the app, um, we have the little uh, it's showing how it's mowing exactly where it is. We have a little base station on the map as well as our little um, radar chat or our, our radio tower right there too. So everything's marked out there pretty much precisely as it is and you can follow that real time on the app. So the mower applies the radio transmitted corrections to its own satellite data, which allows it to calculate its position with high precision. And you can see even when it's overlapping, you set it to overlap the mow. Um, and it does it within within centimeters. So in addition to its RTK system, the LIMO uses VSLAM, Visual Simultaneous lo Localization and Mapping Technology, and other sensors to navigate and avoid obstacles. Particularly in areas with weak, weak satellite signals, this is different from radar, which uses radio waves to detect objects, and it's not the primary technology for the mower's precise navigation. So it can, it can basically see what it's going into it has the little uh, sensors on it also as well so a lot of different uh, high-tech stuff going on here to make sure that it's staying on track it's going to mow very precisely and you guys are going to see that um in in the design when it's done <laughs> mowing and that's how it can mow uh, with like it knows where it's been what it needs to cover and it goes back over that and then it also uses its uh visual technology there to avoid things like chairs and, and people and pets and, and uh, other stuff like that. So very cool. So what I like about this, um, you can see as it's mowing the entire backyard here, I like how you can set it to overlap. So if you have like really long grass, um, you know, sometimes it misses some if, if you go right over the same without any overlap at all. So I like how you can adjust the overlap. You can adjust how close it goes to the edge. You can adjust the height. Everything's like super customizable. The app is has a little bit of a learning curve, but once you figure it out, it works great. As you can see, it does an amazing job here, guys. Yeah, return right to its little base station and we can see how it just does a really good job. I, I like the lines it does, and you like I showed you on the on the app. You can set that any way you want. Like it, it'll it'll cut any any way you want um, to for the design. So it looks really really good. Look how close to the edge it got. Also, so I barely have to weed each just a little bit there, and I'm all good to go. Um, also, the battery life is pretty exceptional on this, over, even though I did quite a bit of an overlap, and this is a decent size backyard. I still had 58% battery life, and with the um, supercharger, basically, it'll charge up and to full in about a half hour or less, so it's, uh, yeah, really impressed with the battery life, with the power of this thing, its ability to just um, go over obstacles. It's quite strong. I mean... It's built like a little tank and it does an exceptional job. The cats aren't really bothered by it. Um, yeah, guys, all in all, I mean, this is probably the best uh, robot lawnmower that I have reviewed as far as just customizability with the, with the app and how we want it to mow with, um, it's got actual blades. I think the other ones I've re uh, reviewed 
have literal like like razor blades, but they do a pretty good job. But this is more like a actual you know like lawnmower lawnmower, so it can handle a little bit more heavy duty things like running over like. Um, leaves and, and twigs and, th and things like that you don't have to worry about it i like how it's pretty much waterproof you just hose it down and it's, it's good to go and it went right back to its little home when it was done charges up nice lots of power does a great job my friends i mean what's what's not to like really so if you want to clean this um we can just hose it off it's got an ip6 ipx6 rating <laughs> Another super nice feature of this is you can just, in order to clean it, you can just raise up the blade deck here and just to hold down the plus button until it starts hearing a movement and it'll raise it up in about 30 seconds and you can hose it down real good. Um, super convenient, that way you don't have to pick it up or flip it on its side. Um, it's, yeah, super nice. I like how it's got the nice, um, pretty much waterproof rating so uh, you can just hose it down and you're and you're good to go so you can see it's got the nice uh, wide uh, cutting width here with the dual blades it's uh, things pretty sturdy it's well built I would have to say um, and when you want when you're done uh, hosing it off if you want to lower the deck just hit the minus button on uh, the back of the machine hold it down for a little bit and it'll start to go down for you so that's all you got to do this thing is super easy to clean uh, very very user friendly i like the convenience of it they seems like the um, designers thought up most things you could run into as far as issues to overcome with these things and it's always being updated too. I think since I've had it, I've done two or three updates as well. So um, yeah, it's, it's really cool. So final thoughts on this guys. Um, the app, it takes a little a while to figure out how to set it up, get stuff right as far as like um, just the nuances of it. Quite a bit of stuff on this app as far as the lighting, the schedule, the mowing, the different ways. Um, so just takes a little bit of a learning curve as is expected, um, but everything, this thing works pretty burly. It does a great job of mowing a lawn, actually. I like how you can adjust however, you know, different angles, and it just does a really good job. Um, so basically all you have to do is weed eat around the edges, and this is gonna take care of the rest, and then you can um, go in the map to different uh, uh, spots that you want, just drive it over there and create another map and select which one you wanna mow. Uh, it does a great job of mowing. This thing's super powerful. Um, seems to do a pretty good job of like avoiding obstacles and things like that. But all in all, my friends, uh, if you're looking for a, a pretty sweet little mower that, uh, yeah, that didn't actually didn't take too long to do this whole grass right here. So I was pretty pleased with that. Anyways, my friends, I'll link this in the description below if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.